Hi, this is Felix. I thank you so much again for making time with me today or this moment here and choosing to stay on to the end of this video to learn what I have to share with you this moment. Our situations are getting worse. The world today is not in the same world it is today. The economy of every country is getting damaged. Authorities and power are doing all they can to ensure that situations are stabilized. But as for watching as an individual, as a family, have you thought of what you can do to manage your own current situation, your own current state of being? There are so many things you can do to help yourself. How much you have may be less, but how do you manage that less you have? Right, so I am sharing with you how to live on less. The less you have, how do you manage it? In these troubling times where there is not enough to have been available to you. So then you have just little to manage. How do you live on that little? How do you live on that less? There are four ideas I want to share with you. Now, by the time we're done, it's expected that you would have made or gotten yourself made familiar with these strategies that, once applied, very effectively will help you manage the less you have. Now, the first idea is accept the changed situation. The situation which we are now as the reality. It is what we have to experience. Is there anything you can do about it? Yes. The answer is yes. So formerly, perhaps you were able to buy items in bulk because price of items were quite manageable. Perhaps you could purchase large quantities of items for your kitchen. You were able to travel longer distances, you know, to buy items from different shops. You were able to do so many things with little or less amount of money. But in our time today, it is not so, right? So you are forced to buy items in bits so that the little amount of money you have left could be used to cater for a few other things so that all things that would be needed by your family would have been catered for, at least in the small quantity to manage the family's existence. This is the change that has occurred in your situation. So comparatively, how life has become now is not the way it used to be. When you come to accept this state of being, it helps you to strategize to know how to manage the next step in your life. Your refusal to accept your current state of existence will make it very, very difficult to survive. So first step, accept the change that has come to exist or the current state of existence you are in, accept it. Once you accept it, it will restructure your attitude and help you know exactly how to get things done in the next step. Now, once you are able to accept that indeed things have changed and are not the same way they used to be, as a family, work, work together as a team. The husband should not keep anything to himself. The wife should not keep anything to herself. Children should not try to withdraw from their own things. You work together as a family. So the little resources the wife gets, you add it to what the husband is getting. You join your resources together, think together, bring your ideas together, and then find ways that are reliable to resolve the challenges you're facing together as a family. If you do things this way, in these hard times, you will survive together as a family. The challenges become all right. But you will likely not feel it so much. You are going to be able to manage it. So work together as a team. There must not be any state of a sense of selfishness. There must not be any sense of greediness. Pride should be thrown away. Um, wanting to have things kept to yourself should be thrown away. Those intentions must be thrown away. Put self aside and think of the world being of each other as a family. Teamwork makes a family survive. You are able to, you know, go through all the challenges and come out very successful. Now, the next thing you should consider doing, being the third strategy, is create a budget. Create a budget. Having a budget plan helps you not overspend. So, you know that both of you, the husband and the wife, are monthly workers. You're actually working our paint at the end of every month. So, before the month ends, you draw your budget. So the budget must actually have factored in it things you know will be needed, not things that will not be needed, you know, to so spend the money on those 
listed items. Now, for those you think you can manage the absence of, don't spend on them. Use the remaining amount of money, well, as miscellaneous um, or in a miscellaneous account, that could be used to attend to a few other things that along the line may come up as items that may be needed or would actually be needed to run the family. So the basic point in this case is have a budget plan. When you try a budget plan, it will set more or less as a map that will guide you from one stage of your living as a family to the other. That is very, very important to consider drawing a budget plan. Now, the very last idea of the four is prioritize your expenses and make reliable changes. Prioritize your expenses. What does it mean? So, what matters to the family should be placed first. What you think does not matter so much that you know the family can manage even with that should be placed where I would say below. Where live below. So here we're talking of scale of preference. You know, so you arrange your items of um your items by way or in terms of how needful the family is of each of them. You know, which one should actually be placed first? Which one is most important, followed by which item, followed by which item. So you arrange them in a particular order. So that those that are actually more important will be attended to by way of how much must or is to be spent on those items. When you do things that way, um, the family is going to actually not find um, itself in a state of hardship. Certain things are going to be or would actually end up being attended to that will make you not struggle through the period till your next income comes in, right? So four strategies. As a family, as a family, always ensure that you work together in one state of being or one state of mind by accepting the change you are currently suffering. The next thing is work together as a team. Teamwork brings about a lot of positive changes, positive effects. And the next, you draw a budget. Ensure that you have a budget plan, one that will guide you to know how to spend the little or the less you have. And then finally, prioritize your expenses. What you think the less you have should not be used in purchasing Hold on with that. And then focus right on what is more important. Attend to that. When you do these things, when you do these things, your struggle, your struggle in these hard times will end up being managed and well pleased. I really thank you so much for having watched me to this end. Like the video and share with others for them to also benefit from what I have shared with you. I thank you so much. I really thank you. And I always encourage you to do and to remain, keep positive attitude, throw away negative attitude, and your life will not be the same. I wish you well. Stay focused as I come away with another content. Bless you. <laughs>